Oftentimes, seniors will go without meals in order to pay for medications or go without meals because they don't know how to prepare something ahead of time so that they can use it through the week. Today we're at Teresa Max's apartment. Chef Randy Emmert is preparing Pop and John. It's a bean dish with ham and sweet potatoes and really, really inexpensive, really, really nutritious. So we're gonna um, talk about that dish, uh, talk about the nutrition of it, the resources that they can get to make that dish and how they can enjoy it as a group going forward. Hello everybody, my name is Randy Emmert. I'm a district manager and a chef uh, with the Creating a Healthy Sanctuary. We're focused on giving seniors healthy cooking tips, cutting out fat, lowering the sodium, and uh, giving them good culinary cooking tips in the kitchen. This is something that I could do, and it's healthy for me. So I'm trying to eat different, because I eat a lot of fried chicken, a lot of fried pork chops, stuff like that. So this will help me with a menu. We uh, actually talk about the nutrients of the food. We talk about how to cook the food to help intensify the flavor of the food. We got a lot of colorful vegetables here, which is going to give us vitamins A, D, E, and K. Uh, they're fat soluble. And what fat soluble means is uh, you need to have fat with the vitamins in order to absorb them into your body. The thing about fat soluble vitamins is that they stay in your body longer, whereas B vitamins, vitamin C, some of these water soluble vitamins, those are the types of foods we eat. After they get the instruction component, they're going to enjoy this really great meal together, um, have a chance to talk amongst themselves about what they learned, and we remain available to answer questions that come up after. You need to know how to take care of your body. It's learning everybody how to cook better, and eat better, and stay healthy. I loved the lunch, I, I loved everything, I loved the fellowship. Everything was excellent. I think you guys are doing a marvelous yes, job. Yes, yes. It is magnificent. This is necessary because these are people that have limited resources that still want to eat healthy and find community with food and don't always have the opportunity to have a skilled dietitian and chef to come in and really give them those answers that they want.